Um, Ed Sof and then Carol Sof, I'm following Robbie. Good evening, my name is Ed Sof. I live at 1620 Victoria Drive in Denton. I'd like to read to you from the purpose section of subchapter 22 of Denton's gas well drilling and production ordinance. <clears throat> Quote, the drilling and production of gas and the development of gas well facilities within the corporate limits of the city necessitate promulgation of reasonable regulations to prevent devaluation of property, to protect watersheds, to prevent deleterious uses of groundwater resources that actually or potentially threaten the health of persons in proximity to drilling and production activities, to prevent or moderate noxious emissions of gases that potentially threaten the health of nearby residents and employees, to prevent injury to persons and property, to ensure that gas well drilling and production activities are compatible with adjacent land uses throughout the duration of such activities, and to assure that such activities conform to the Denton Plan. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, according to this, our ordinance and its regulations are a complete failure. Denton has faced serious public health and environmental challenges, but none as serious and widely spread as the potential redrilling and fracking of existing gas wells within the city limits. <clears throat> Pardon me. In the past, citizen, citizen initiatives stopped a would-be lead-emitting smelting operation in northeast Denton, encouraged a local brick manufacturer to install high-efficiency scrubbers on its emission stacks to reduce air pollution, and convinced the city to replace the use of highly toxic herbicides in the public parks with less toxic alternatives. All of those actions protected the public health and made Denton a better place to live. But now, this quality of life, the economic robustness, and the health and well-being of Denton's residents are under attack on a scale that dwarfs those earlier challenges. The current redrilling and fracking in the vintage Bonnie Bray neighborhood is just the beginning of what will become an environmental, public health, and economic disaster with short and long-range impacts, none of them positive. The toxic and carcinogenic air emissions, the nuisances of noise, noise light pollution, and particulate matter, the daily stress, frustration, and fear that already plagued the lives of the vintage neighborhood will spread without recourse through our community if the city does not act to stop it. The city cannot sanction this deprivation of our right to a healthful environment. The city must protect home and property values, not allow their destruction. The city must nurture the health of our children, born and unborn, and not allow it to be jeopardized by private, profit-driven interests. Civic responsibility and precaution, 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 demand that a moratorium be enacted immediately to halt all drilling activities until an ordinance is in place that truly protects Denton's residents as it is su supposedly stated in the purpose of subchapter 22. Literally, the future of Denton is in your hands. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> next speaker, Carol So, to be followed by Mr. Briggle, who knew <laughs> he was next. My name is Carol Sof, and I live at 1620 Victoria in Denton. At this moment, a neighborhood of citizens in Denton are living with fear for their safety, health, and well-being within their own homes. They are waiting for gas wells, which are too close to their homes, to be fracked. When this happens, clouds of toxic emissions will be in the air they breathe, thousands of gallons of Denton's clean water will be used up, incredible noise, vibrations, and the degradation of property and home values will result. Parents keep their children inside and residents too fearful to live there cannot sell their homes. It is, is this the kind of Denton that we want? Are we a city of people or gas wells? We have to make that choice. The two are not compatible neighbors. It has been said enforcement of existing regulations will keep us safe. Did they keep the residences safe that were close to the well blowout near the airport? Residences nearby were not informed until hours after the accident. Were they thinking clearly when UNT scheduled a bonfire for homecoming dangerously close to an active well site? 
Were the residents any safer after a drilling company was caught dumping toxic drilling water illegally? The penalties are not deterrence. The infractions to the rules persist and the public is held hostage by an industry that quite frankly is terrorizing communities with fear for their families' health and safety. These citizens are defenseless in their own homes. There are old wells throughout Denton that could be redrilled with the same dangers that neighborhood is experiencing right now. It is not enough to allow this to happen over and over again, while the confusion over our basic darn it, rights and protections are debated endlessly at city council meetings to no outcome. We need to stop the fracking of wells immediately and to have an open discussion with the public to adequately address the problems and find solutions. The public should not have to live in fear while these issues are debated. We have to have a moratorium on fracking in Denton right now. Thank you. Next speaker.